the next 48 hours. What is going to happen over the next 48 hours for you? What do you need to know about in today's pick a card tarot card reading? I've got three oracle decks for you this morning. So we've got pick a card read number one, which is the fairy oracle. Pick a card read number two, the spell casting oracle. Pick a card read number three, we have the psychic tarot oracle deck. Um, yeah, so we want to know what do you need to know for the next 48 hours. I'm going to do a Celtic cross, see what opportunities are coming your way and possible attainment and outcome if you make the most of those opportunities. What is around you? What do you need to know? All the timestamps are down below. Private readings are available. That's down below as well. Um, if you want to support the channel, put a like on it. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Let's get on with the readings. Welcome to your pick a card, tarot card reading. We want to know what you need to know for the next 48 hours to make the most of opportunities coming your way. What do you need to do for you? We're going to pull three oracle cards and then we'll do a Celtic cross with the tarot deck. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons. Most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Let's have a look. Transformation. If you make the most of the next 24 hours, long term, there's going to be a transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to the transformation in your life that's happening for you. For the highest good, embrace the transformation. The best is yet to come. If you make the most of your time, you're going to do good. You're going to flourish. Yeah, the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life. Mm -hmm. And come together. Fairies like to be busy. And a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work working as a team you can get the job done so what job is it that you need to get done i'm going to pull from the mystical moments tarot deck i'm going to do a celtic cross for you i want to see what's around you at the moment what transformation is coming um maybe there's some cleaning and tidy and you need to do keep yourself busy a bit take your mind off take your mind off things that you normally think about um, yeah, feels very positive. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons. Most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection. I'm going to take that card. Oh, two of cups. I'm going to take that card because it tried to come out. The two of cups, the starting point of the Celtic cross. Um, the two of cups is all about the meeting of minds, people who are in tune with you, people who can walk parallel with you, and um, people who want you to be the best version of yourself and just having that connection. Um, and the seven of wands is standing your ground for what you want. The first two cards of my Celtic cross are all about you and your connect, all, all about you and your question. And what I'm picking up is, you're holding out for a lovely connection. You don't want any half-heartedness. You want to stand your ground because you deserve someone that truly loves you, that's going to hold your hand and walk through life with you. And you deserve that. You don't deserve someone that's messing you about or anything like that. You don't have time for that anymore. Um, the feminine emperor in this deck is around you. It's your energy. It's you providing stability for yourself, whether you're male or female. It's your logic. It's your self-respect. And it's your thought process. Um, we have the male emperor as well. So that's a really nice balance. It's like the best of both worlds. It's you stepping into your confidence. It's you stepping on the path that you know that's right. If someone's not going to provide anything for you, then you're going to do it for yourself. We've got two emperors and the two of cups in the middle. That's really nice. It's two emperors that complement each other. Behind you is the worry. So with the come together fairy card, it's time to keep busy. Worrying is going to be using energy. And if you're going to have to use that energy anyway, you may as well do something positive with it. Whether it's getting up and doing a workout boring <laughs> it's not something i do but get up and do some cleaning get up and do some crafts get up and do some writing get up and do something physical burn that energy off otherwise lay in bed and worry but that's behind you now 
um, over the next 48 hours, it feels like you're stepping into a, a zone of having a clear idea of what you want and where you're going and that you're going to do it and you're going to do it. You're not waiting for anyone else to do it. The right person will come along at the right time and they will match your energy. Maybe that's what the two emperors are about. You want to be in a connection with someone who matches your energy, not someone where you're doing all of the work or they're doing all of the work, but it's an equal for in opportunities to come the six of cups deciding what you're leaving in your past the six of cups is exploring happy memories and letting them go and think okay that's a memory that's my past there may be an indulgent moment in um nostalgia if you decide to do some cleaning you may find an old photo album or an old diary and you may be finding that you're kind of looking at it and realizing how stressed out you were at that point in time and how life's different now your secret underlying question is are your wishes going to be granted your secret underlying question is the nine of cups all about your happiness satisfaction are you going to be happy yeah it feels like a massive shift in your energy it feels like strong and stable and claiming who you are and making space for someone who's your equal and pushing out any time wasters um the empress timing on this is you it's you, it's time to flourish and grow. It's just clarifying what the fairies have to say to you. It's time for you to attract. You don't have to chase anyone. We have empress and emp empress here. Very nice, very nice. Um, the mother and father of the deck, aren't they? Yeah, they grow, they nurture. People come towards them. So... Attainment, if you make the most of the opportunities, is the Eight of Swords. It's you stopping people having too much easy access to you. Um, it's you putting boundaries in to stop people playing with your feelings, to stop people from wasting your time, for you to put a wall around you that's protective. But the cage is open a little bit, so you will let the right person in or the right person will coach you out. Um, but yes, yeah, so you putting healthy boundaries in. You taking a step back and thinking, yeah, do you know what I'm doing? What's right for me now? Um, and possible outcome if you make the most of it. The page of swords is a change of direction. There's something that you had planned that you're now not going to do. Um, someone may let you down at the last minute over the next 48 hours. And it's going to make you start putting healthy boundaries in. And it's going to bring this transformation about. It's going to be the trigger. There may be something in your diary that you just thought, now do you know what I don't want to do that it may be something with a friend it may be you know it just feels like something getting cancelled um maybe you just need to take the day off work sneakily but it feels like a change of direction for you and it feels like it's very positive and it's a shedding of your skin so come back in 72 hours and let me know what happened? This is a timeless reading, so it is relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. Private readings are available. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you away. If you'd like me to pull a card for you, request to pull a card in the comments. I'll have a little shuffle. I'll tell you what tarot card I got. Also, you can go onto my website, and on my website, I have a pull a card page. If you refresh the page, it will put randomly generate a tarot card, and down the bottom are all of the little blurbs of what the inspiration for you is. So that's always there as well. Um, I will see you soon. Welcome to your next 48 hours pick a card tarot card reading. I'm going to pull three cards from the spell casting oracle deck and then we're going to do a celtic cross with a tarot deck um what you need to be aware of if you make the most of the opportunities coming long-term attainment all of the things i'm going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection this is a timeless reading, so it's relevant for the moment you come to contact with it if you want to support the channel put a like on the reading it does not cost you anything um turn your notifications on subscribe put some engagement in the comments like a purple heart or a manifestation what is at the top of your manifestation list at the moment and put like um either write a four leaf clover or put the emoji four leaf clover let some get some good luck going and uh, we've got confidence we've got trust okay and we've got healing that's nice isn't it so the next 48 hours feels quite powerful 
stepping into your confidence, trusting yourself and trusting the universe and stepping into your period of healing. Um, let's do a Celtic cross. I want to see where you're at. I want to see what's around you, what's in your past. Opportunities to come. If you make the most of those opportunities, what good things can you get from the end of it? What are the benefits? Sometimes we go into healing. We don't really want to. But what's the benefits of healing? What is the benefits of trust in the universe? And what is the benefits of stepping into your confidence? Um, I'm going to split the deck into four. So the first card is all about, it is all about you, the chariot. You taking control. You taking control of your path, even if that's facing your trauma head on, you're taking control of it. If you face it head on, you then know how to deal with it. And then the true healing process starts. Um, and the page of swords has been something that's come to light recently. And it may be over the next 48 hours, but it may also be something quite recent. It may have been a breakup. With the page of swords, it's my card of a disappointment, feeling let down, a broken promise. And the chariot is like, yeah, okay, this, this person or this situation's let you down, but now's the time for you to turn the negative into a positive. Now's the time to face this head on and see where you're going to be. Like, go with the flow. There's a reason that it happened. There's a reason that this person's let you down. There's a reason that the universe has made it happen. And there may be a point in time in two or three years time when you look back and you think, I'm so grateful the universe removed that from my life because I needed it to. Right now, it doesn't make sense. Right now, it feels painful. Trust the process. Um, we've got the world. The world is wanting to open up to you. There's a whole world out there, a world of opportunities, a world full of people. Um, you don't have to limit yourself to what is right in front of you. We have the justice card. Yeah. Karma will kick. It feels like a person has recently let you down. Um, karma will kick them. Karma will come out at some point. Sometimes it's straight away, instant karma. Sometimes it takes a decade. Sometimes it's tagged onto the end of somebody's life. But karma always does come knocking. It does like to collect its debts. Um, the justice card is facing the truth of the situation. If you can face the truth of the situation, your true healing can start. Um, if you can learn how to accept a situation, you can start letting go of it as well. So behind you is the five of swords. You were waiting for somebody for fight, to fight for you and they just didn't. Um, the five of swords is picking your battles wisely. You were fighting to hold on to this. You were fighting for an answer from them. I don't think you're going to get it, but as time goes by, you're not going to need it. Um, when we're highly stressed, that's when we need the answers. But when the universe delays those answers, as time goes by, we suddenly realise we don't actually need any answers because it's clear as day. Um, the Five of Swords feels like someone's let you go. They were meant to fight for you and they didn't. And you dropped your sword and boom, you know, you, you gave up. Because why, sh why should you fight for something that someone else isn't? Um, opportunities to come. So the devil. Now with the devil, we can feel powerless. We can be, so the devil's a bit of a puppet master. And it's a little bit like the chariot card, I guess. But we can either be on the chain that the devil's playing with, or we can be the devil. Um, and I don't mean that in like a satanic kind of way, because I don't believe in any dark stuff like that. But you can either be powerless or you can take control. You can use a negative and think, right, how am I going to get the best out of this situation? This is a real chance for you to do your healing. It's a real chance for you to realise that you're not completely powerless. It's a real chance for you to get your feet back on the ground again. There may be things that come up over the next 48 hours. It feels like, to be honest, what I'm feeling is someone may try and draw you into an argument or someone, something may trigger you. And what you want to do is have a massive row with whoever it is that's let you down. The devil's going to pop up. It's going to be your temptation to come out swinging. In the back of your mind, I want you to know karma will take care of it. 
they will get their comeuppance. They will get what's coming to them for wronging you. What you need to do is focus on you. Take the devil, be the puppet master, and imagine, like, you know, them. this person that let you down, looking at you in four months' time, thinking, oh, my goodness, they're so strong. You know, it's you rebuilding you, you working on you for the better. And the more that you do that, the more light you will become. You will glow again and you will attract light into your life. If you give in and argue with this person, you're just going to get dragged back into that place of pain and it's going to delay the whole process. Whatever triggers you, say this is a test from the universe. I'm dodging it. I'm going to move forward. Um... We've got the sun, the secret question or the secret underlying question is, is are you going to be OK? You are absolutely going to be OK. If you can get through the next 20, if you can get through the next 48 hours, wow, the light at the end of the tunnel's coming because you're strong. You don't have to get dragged down. You can rise above it. You don't have to get dragged down by anyone. Timing on this is the nine of wands your resourcefulness, your strength, your force of character, um, the many battles in life that you've already won, you're going to win this one as well. Attainment, if you make the most of it, a hermit. So instead of getting drawn into an argument with someone, it feels like you're taking the high road and you're disappearing into your cave and you're working on you and you're working to using your inner wisdom to figure out what it is that you want. Now, when the hermit really starts working, they become a light in the dark for other people. And if you ever sat in a garden in the dark with light, the moths and the insects all show up. And the lighthouse on the cliff, they guide the ships to, so um, to shore as well. So your hermit moment, this is your chance to disconnect from the nonsense, because it does feel like someone's been doing a whole load of nonsense and it's not you. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, it may be a slow path ahead, but you're going to have your feet on the ground and it's time to do it properly. It feels like this person's let you down in the past and you gave them a bit of a free pass. Now's the time to really kick them out of your life. That's what it feels like. The Knight of Pentacles is always on the road to success, but you have to do it properly and it can't just happen quickly but it can be the start from right now. It's the beginning of the journey and it feels like a very optimistic future. And it feels like along the way, uh, what's just popped into my head is, you know, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, along her journey, you know, she met all her little friends on the way, didn't she? It's like, well, she's on her way to self-discovery. She meets important people along the way and it feels like this is the beginning of a new journey for you. So that's really nice. So I'm going to end this reading here. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels take you on your way. If you'd like me to pull a card for you when I have my coffee in the morning, request pull a card. I will tell you what card I got for you. If you want to do it yourself on my website, go to my website. I have a pull a card page. It generates a card for you. And then you just scroll down the bottom and read what's there. Um, I do it every morning before I get out of bed. It's the best thing about my website. I love it. Anyway, I will see you soon. Welcome to your pick a card, tarot card read in the next 48 hours. What does that look like for you? I'm going to start with an oracle deck for a change. I'm going to split the deck into four. Four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection. So we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and open mind. Choose wisely always emotional withdrawal rule you may feel yourself pulling away and you may feel someone pulling away from you but mainly it feels like you removing your energy from something um and spiritual strength that's really nice and we've got a seven and eight and a nine you're on a natural path here yeah you're on a natural path i'm gonna do a celtic cross with the tarot deck so what is it that you've got to choose wisely what is it that you're removing your energy from and how are you going to gain strength from this situation? Because you are going to gain strength. There's a natural path here for you. Um, yeah, so let's do a Celtic cross. I want to see what's around you, what's in your past, what's opportunities coming your way over the next 48 hours. And if you make the most of those opportunities, where is it going to lead you in the long run?
Give us a split the deck into four four elements, four seasons. Most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection. So we can give and receive all of these messages. So the five of pentacles is definitely something that you're removing your energy from. If you want to support the channel, put a like on the reading for free. Subscribe, turn your notifications on. Share the channel with somebody that you know who may enjoy tarot and may take a positive message from somewhere. Um, and let me know what the weather's like. It's kind of overcast and a bit cold and windy here today. My cat is not impressed. Um, the page cups. There's someone around you who has really connected with your page cups. Now, when I say page cups, my in my head it's like um, I don't know why it's new kids on the block, but maybe that's because when I was a teenager, that was the first boy band that I was ever aware of. New kids on the block, and then it was uh, take that, um, and then it was the Spice Girls, but then I was a bit older then. But anyway, it's that age of recognizing music and falling in love with music and having a crush and that hysteria and and that there's someone that connects with that in you but you're you're removing your energy from it because it's becoming painful um but what's annoying and frustrating for you is they don't put the energy in that they're meant to put in but they have that ability of randomly messaging you a hello or an emoji, or a meme, or something. And it's something really tiny, and it makes your heart flutter, and it makes you smile, and boom, you're sucked back in there again. It feels like this has been going on for quite a while, and then they leave you in silence, and then you get mad, and then you miss them, and then you kind of forget about them, and then boom, they pop back up again. This feels like you now removing your energy from it in a way of... Do you know what's going to have to take more than a single little swinky face to get my attention, even though like all of your butterflies are going inside and you're really happy to hear from them. Um, yeah, you want someone who is going to be the king of wands, whether you're male or female, the king of wands is self-made in life. You want a grown up relationship and um, the king of wands could be you or it could be someone else or, the, or what it is that you're looking for. Whoever it is that keeps playing with your feelings, um, they're a kid, they're a kid, and I don't care how old they are, they can be 72, and some people just never grow up, they never get to the point of having a proper mature relationship, um, so the eight of pentacles, that's nice, it's work, time to get the work done, but you know that, and you're like, oh no, I don't want to, <laughs> you're gonna have to, and this is a timeless reading, it's time to get some work done, it's time to You've got a natural born skill that you could be making money off and you could be making quite a lot of money off it. But this person pops in, don't they? And oh, your heart your heart flutters. And I think maybe part of you come to the reading to see whether you're going to hear from them again. But it feels like a slow disconnect. I feel like, do you know what? If they're going to connect with that energy and that energy is going to be there, save that energy for you, for something that benefits you. So every artist has a muse. They have a, a model normally, like way back when, even now, some of my artist friends, they they kind of, they have a muse or they have a passion or they have the thing that they really like, like drawing or, you know, whether it's a certain landscape or a person or something. But artist, artists have muses and then they create artwork around it. It's now to start time. All these butterfly feelings, this is what I'm getting at. All these butterfly feelings that this person creates inside of you. Don't waste that energy. Put it into a book. Put it into a sketchbook. Create some artwork. Um, use that energy. When you get that restless energy, use it for whatever it is that you like doing. Um, and you, that'll be more rewarding because with this person, it feels like uh, they send you up high and then they drop you. Whereas if you use that energy and harness that energy, it'll be a bit of a roller coaster, but there won't be the big dippers. There won't be the big drops. Um, and even when there is a bit of a drop, use that energy as well to express yourself. Some of the most amazing artworks come out of people when they're really going with their feelings, when they're really communicating their feelings. Um, the hair effect cards behind you, you were really hoping that this person was going to commit to you. Um, the Nine of Cups, your wishes are going to be granted. 
you've got lots of like you've got two eights you've got two nines and it's going in a pattern um you've already got a community around you with the hair effect card it feels like a community and it does feel like there's something that you can do that you can be earning money off that you could be selling to your community um and they would love it and you can mentor them and and things but there's someone that plays with your feelings that's a complete waste of your energy. Um, the Nine of Cups is all about your happiness, reclaiming your happiness, happiness, satisfaction. Your wish is being granted, so be careful what you wish for. Because if you wish for the wrong thing, you're going to get the wrong thing. So be careful what you wish for, because it's going to be granted. Um, your underlying question is how long are you going to wait for them? It's bored waiting. It feels like, again, you're removing your energy from it. Timing on this is a justice card. Things are going to balance out. You're going to see the truth of the situation. And it's going to just balance out. And it's going to give you clarity. And you're going to use it for yourself. To benefit yourself. Um, possible attainment. Your strength. Yeah, that's really nice. We've got spiritual strength and the strength card. There's a lot here for you, you know. And then outcome. The seven of wands. Stand your ground for what you want. And putting bats putting healthy boundaries in so this person can't just come in, send you a winky face and you're all wanting to marry them and, and have kittens and I nearly said elephants. No one has an elephant as a pet, do they? I don't think so. But anyway, that's how ridiculous this person is, you know. Um, but yeah, it feels very positive. The next 48 hours, focus on you. Focus on what makes you feel passionate and make the most of your creative talents because it feels like you've got them. Put it all, document all of it. The greatest artists in this world, they document exactly how they feel and they communicate it and it talks to people. It connects with people's souls um, and it feels maybe you've even, if you are a creative person, maybe you've even got a tarot deck in you for you to design and for other people to use. I don't know why. That makes sense to the right person. If you claim that part of the reading. Let me know. Because there's a reason that you've been brought here today. So get on and do that. Um, yeah. I'd be interested for sure. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection. So your angels can take you on your way. Come back in a week. Let me know how you are. Um, share the channel with someone. Who may be interested in tarot. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection. If you'd like me to pull a card for you, request pull a card in the comments or go on my website, click on pull a card page and it'll generate a card for you. Scroll down to the bottom and it'll tell you what, what it means. I'll see you soon.